Hello everyone, my name is Roya and today I will be reviewing Radioactive Evolution by Richard Hummel. This was sent to me for, for an honest review by Book Publicity Services, so thank you so much Book Publicity Services for sending this my way. This takes place in a post-apocalyptic Earth where everything has been ravaged by nuclear war and some people have gone to live in cities in the sky and everyone else just has to rot down below and get like radiation poisoning, get eaten by giant rats, like everything. All the creatures on Earth are like mutated um, just because of everything that's been going on. So all the, you know, there are giant worms, etc, etc. So uh, our main character, Jared, is basically trying to survive in this world and like the rest of humanity that is not in the floating cities and he actually ends up stealing a dragon egg and then actually becomes bonded with the dragon inside. That gives both him and the dragon access to nanites from basically when they go and kill other things like rats, worms, whatever. They actually get the nanites from what they just killed and they get to put it into whatever physical, mental, etc. attribute that they want to and they can actually gain like abilities through that like night vision and whatnot. Um, so I ended up really enjoying this book. It took me a couple chapters to get into it but it is so action-packed in like the best possible way um, that it was just so entertaining the whole way through. So the conflict kept coming. There are like a series of conflicts without it seeming too serial per se. Um, and then also just the main character is kind of a very witty likable person and the dragon it's a very interesting take on dragons as well. They essentially are genderless in that, I mean, basically they're male or female, but like not really because um, they're mostly male and then one just turns into a female because they have to have at least one female at any time. It's like super weird. And then also the um, dragon inside the egg actually does have all of, because she's a, an exact genetic copy of her mother. So she has all her mother's memories from centuries ago and then has actually been there in the egg for like hundreds of years if not thousands of years even. I'm not entirely sure what it said in the book. I don't remember, but, um, but actually has all this knowledge from like centuries and whatnot before actually being born. So, so there are other people in this book of all different sorts. There are uh, other creatures in this of all different sorts without it being like super, super far out where you can't possibly imagine this being um, a far distant future at all. Like it, it has enough similarities and enough sort of stuff to back it back up why things are the way they are in this world that it kind of does seem plausible still. So um, I ended up giving this book four stars because I did really enjoy this book and I did also think it was kind of interesting how video game like it is because essentially they're like leveling up from killing whatever they kill etc etc um but again it's all explained so well that it doesn't seem too like far-fetched and weird but anyway um let me know if you've read this book have thoughts on it etc etc and I will see you very soon with a new video bye